And then we have a couple that kind of fit into this category, kind of not. Um, has class and is. Has class, um, you put a class name in there, and if the element has the class, then it returns true. Um, so you can't chain off of this one, right? Um, uh, is, you put any selector in there, and it'll tell you if, it's, um, if it matches that selector. So that's when you want a true or false value. OK. Again, we have all of these in traversing. Tell you what, though, let's, let's do this, because I, I, think, I think you'll like this. I think you'll have fun with this. OK. Um, we have a little demo. And seriously? Ah, I did it again. Sorry. OK, I really need to clean that CSS very quickly. Um, that I was hacking on. Hmm. Ah. Let's do that. There we go. OK. Oh, right. That's because I have a different screen resolution. That's why. OK. So here we have a DOM tree. Right? We, we have, we have a, a bunch of stuff in there. Um, and this is what it looks like in the HTML version. Right? So we have a form, and we have a, an, a list, uh, and we have an HL, and stuff like that. OK. So we can practice. Right? So let's say, let's say we want to get, um, I don't know. Um, how about only let's see what else we have here. OK. Let's get um, any div.text that follows a div.text, OK? What can we do? How can we do this? We could do it just as a selector, or we could use a traversal method as well. So we know what we want to get, right? We want to we get all the div.texts, right? But we only want the ones that follow, that immediately follow a div.text. So what'll it be? What's that? Dot next. There we go. Aha. And look at that. We have these three div dot text. Oh, that's kind of funky. Yeah, so we have this one. The first name one is not selected, but all the other ones are. Nice, huh? All right. That made sense. Um, by the way, if you put a filter in here for next, that does not mean that you keep going until you hit that, until you hit that uh, filter, right? It doesn't, um, like, let me see if we can come up with an example here. OK, how about this? Like div.email, right? Here we have div.email. And we want to say next um, dot text area. OK, how many, how many elements will be selected? How many? I heard somebody say something, but I didn't hear what. One? One? OK. Did that email? Oh, yep. Yeah. OK, that was a bad example. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you're right. One. OK, so how about this? 
How about this? A legend dot email. Okay. So we have our legend here. And it's a sibling of this div and this div and this div. And here's our uh, div.email. So that's a dot email. So how many will this select? Zero. Did it just select something? Why did it select first name? What? Did I break this? My stupid demo's broken. How could that be? You know what? It's not. Oh, oh, I keep doing that. Sorry. It's not respecting the filter. That's it. I knew there was something wrong with that. That's what I get for writing this demo while you guys were talking this morning. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. But I can. All right. Dot arc. Ah, there it is. See that? Forgot to put the pound in front of the XARG. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, I can close this. Yeah. Okay, so next all works, right? It selects this email one. Now, if I change that back to next, what's it going to do? Nothing. <sighs> OK. <laughs> OK, good. Um, yeah, any questions about that? Because that's a, that's a tricky one. Oh, let me, before we move on, we'll, we're going to say, OK, we're not going to do uh, any method here, right, and no filter, OK? We're going to do something like this. Li nth child one. Now let's make it two. Okay. So, which one of these li's is it going to? Well, which li's is it going to return? Which one? Sorry. This one here. OK, it says nth, nth child 2. OK, well, let's try it. No. OK, why did it do that? OK, here's the, here's the thing about nth child. It's kind of a funky uh, selector. This is, what it, this is what it means. It means, well, first of all, this is the only jQuery selector that is one-based. It's the only one. And the reason is that. This, there is no like JavaScript or DOM equivalent to nth child. This is a CSS construct. This is something that the CSS people made up, right? Nth child. And so they use one, a one base system, right? Which is, you know, everything else in jQuery, everything else in JavaScript, whatever is zero based, okay? But this is one based. And here's what nth child means it doesn't mean just the nth one, just like the, you know, it means. The one that is the nth child of its parent. Okay? So if I did nth child one, what would this select? Okay, it's an li nth child one. It would select item one and, and number one. Why? Because they're both li's. And they are both the first child of their parent. Right? Let's try it. Yeah. Now, of course, we wouldn't have to use nth child one. We could use first child, which is you know, kind of silly. But last child is kind of nice, because it's hard to know. It's, it's harder to figure out which one is the last one on your own, right? Um, 
So yeah, so that number one is both the first and the last. Makes sense, right? Because it's the only one, right? So does tenth child minus one work the same way as last child then? Can you do that? I don't think. No. You can't. That doesn't work. No. You could do li eq minus 1, right? But what that does, that's. Um, yeah, what that does is that, that gives you the, the very last li in the document. It doesn't care about who its parent is or anything like that. It's not relative to the parent element. It's just relative to the whole. It, it first collects all the li's, and then it says, OK, the last one. Or it should. What? How about this? Let's try this one. Oh, I know what the problem is. Sorry. This is the, this is the problem of having a demo like in a, in a single page slideshow app, because there are plenty of other LIs around here. <laughs> um, so like on another slide, there's an LI. And it's, it, it's selecting that one, <laughs> but you can't see it, right? So if I did, was that DOM tree hyphenated or not? Oh yeah, there we go. So if I did DOM tree, yeah, the last one there, or if I did EQ, oh, that should work too. Why isn't that working? Huh. Something's broke. I'll have to look into that. I don't, that's not my problem. Now that makes sense. Uh, maybe maybe I screwed up in my in the DOM. Anyway, okay. No, it looks looks right to me. Okay, um, yeah. You want to find anything else? We good here? I mean, this is this is kind of fun to like you know play around with and say, okay, well, let's see. You know, what does this mean? What does that mean? Yes. Um, so CSS and the child stuff doesn't really work very well in IE. Will this work in IE? Yes. Oh. Yes, it will. Yeah. So here's what here's what jQuery does. Uh, in in recent browsers, there is a DOM method called query selector all, and so if you're doing something that's more complicated than uh, just a a single class or a single element or an ID, a single ID, right? If you're doing something more than that in a selector, um, jQuery will use this query selector all um, method, which is like a native DOM method that browsers implement, OK? And um, actually, John Resig was one of the ones who uh, kind of influenced that being part of the specification because of jQuery. Um, and so jQuery will use that because it's always Faster, faster to use the native DOM methods than it is to use, um, you know, some kind of looping and parsing and figuring out what this is and everything. If, uh, but it, it does feature testing too, right? So, if the browser doesn't have this query selector all that would that would match it for you, right? Um, it will fall back to its own selector engine called Sizzle. So jQuery has this like. It, it sizzles this like standalone selector engine that John wrote that um, is, comes with jQuery. It's all part of jQuery. It, it comes packaged together. And it will fall back on that. And so it will, anything, anything that, uh, or any of the selectors that you see in the jQuery API, jQuery will successfully return, regardless of the browser, as long as it's a browser that we support, right? If it's 
Netscape Navigator 4, you're probably out of luck, right? <laughs> but um, <laughs> you're out of luck in more ways than one, if that's the case, right? Um, so yes, so the answer is yes. You can count on it. The CSS selector, maybe, maybe not. The jQuery selector, A-OK. -okay. 